like and subscribe because you enjoy my content. All right, so this is for all the marbles. Risk taker, we need to hit one heads. This is it, this is for everything. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Crewall, AKA Flex Daddy. And this is the best place to be to learn about the Pokemon TCG and have some fun along the way. Now today is another submission in our fan favorite Friday series, which is a series every week here on Friday on this channel, I play a deck as chosen by you, the fans. So if you want to get in on the action for next week's video, go down in the comment section below and leave a deck idea or a deck list. And the most liked comment will have their deck played on next week's video. So today's submission comes from Dakota Feldcamp, who I think won last week as well, says next week, give Toxtricity from Darkness Ablaze another go round this time with the new chandelure from lost origins so these are very potent when paired together i mean these are some really fun cards that mill your opponent so mill is a strategy where we try to discard every card in our opponent's deck so that at the beginning of their next turn they cannot draw a card and if they can't do that they lose the game let's take a look at these cards here toxtricity an oldie but a goodie risk taker is the attack here for two colorless energy or a twin energy flip a coin if heads discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck if tails discard the top five of your deck so it's very feast or famine with this Toxtricity. It either goes really well or really poorly. Now we do have to tilt the odds ever in our favor. The Glimmy, Glimwood Tangle, Stadium that allows us to reflip coins on attacks. Pretty good. We pair the Toxtricity with the Chandelure and the Mountain Roasting ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Not too shabby. If we can Chandelure, maybe we got a couple of Lampants down. We could use Chandelure, Scoop Up Net, play it on another Lampant. Maybe Scoop Up Net, play it on another Lampant, and all of a sudden we're discarding six to nine cards of our opponent's deck in a single turn. Another fun card that we have in the list here is Misfortune Sisters. Look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into their deck. This is a fun one, you guys. Love this list. I think you guys will really enjoy this deck as well, and it can be really frustrating to play against. Try it out on your friends, and let me know what they say. So, let's get into the games. Without further ado, this is Chandelure Toxtricity. Well, 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 if it isn't a Mew start. Love that for us. Got that uh, little tail, boy. That tail looking a little like too long for my liking. You won't be needing that Radiant Gardevoir. I'll tell you what, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we could get a Lampant into play next turn. That's pretty cool. Um, VIP pass, please. Dang. All right. No VIP pass. Go level ball. We'll go boom. We'll go boom. We'll go bada bing. I think we got a quick ball, dude. We're going to be fine. We're going to be totally fine. All right. Scoop up Netty and Forgetty. Get the gold Mew out. I wish I had more. No. Mysterious tail again. Okay, okay, okay. We're saved. We're saved. Um, I think it's. I think it's Evo Incense o'clock because we could, we could Evo Incense, for the Toxtricity. Or the Chandelure. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, uh, okay, let's, let's Evo Incense. This goes back on the top. Could level ball instead. We need to get, we need to get, we need to get the boys out. We need to get the boys out. Okay, okay. This just, it has to happen. Okay, the Litwicks have to come out. Go there, put this on the top. We will get a Marnie. I think we save. Hold. 
hold, gentlemen, hold. Pretty good start from us, honestly. A um, couple of Mews. Mewtwo, if you will. Oranguru, if you will. And more balls than you can shake a stick at. Two levels, one quick. Got a supporter in hand for next turn. We'll see what they want to do. Maybe they don't know it's a mill deck. I'm hoping that they play at least one research here. That would be ideal. They're going to Avery. That's very nice. <laughs> All right. We got to get rid of the guru, sadly. Um, but I would, I would like them to play one research would be cool. There's the Arceus V star. We got to get through 39 cards, huh? It would be nice as well if they Trinity Nova. That'd be cool. All right. Trinity Nova. And they accelerate some energy. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. All right. Now only 36 cards necessary. So we'll bring up that Mew. Uh, yes, we will put that onto our bench. Yes, we will, Marnie. And... I I mean, solid showing for us here, to be honest. We just would love to see a, which we're not going to get, but we would love to see a, um, a glimmy. I think we still have to go for it. Funny enough. I think we still got to go for the toxicity, but just know that it's like, it's not ideal here. Right. So we'll go toxel. Go toxicity. Um, I'm worried about another Avery, so I'm not going to play the quick ball here. Let's go retreat. Oh, we go risk taker. Heads, please. Heads. No, no. Okay, just don't discard my chandeliers. Two toxicities. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. We have no way to recover these boys. So we got one Toxtricity left, assuming they don't boss something. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's so painful. Not only did we flip tails, but we just, like, discarded our entire deck. There's, like, no viable cards left for us, man. We have one Toxtricity left, dude. Come on. We got to get there through the... Um, through the chandelier is now, I guess. Chandelier, your only hope. That and my opponent just being bad are our only hopes. So let's see what they have to do. They are going to... I, if they just attack, I think they just win. I don't think we can get through 34 cards in my opponent's deck in time. Especially not... Not without two toxicity. That's for darn sure. They are going to continue to accelerate. So they're kind of like making me feel some type of way. Um, we got another toxel. Got a quick ball. Um, I mean, all, all routes go through the chandelier. So we might as well do this. And then we'll Marnie. And then we do get a chandelier. That's kind of cute. So we'll go Chandelure. We'll discard the top three cards of their deck. Ooh, what were they? Ordinary Rod, love it. Let's go Mysterious Tail. Scoop Up Net, love it. Let's do a Scoop Up Net here. Oh, shoot. Evolve. I evolved the wrong Lampant is the thing, right? Because we have, now we have two of those. Um, I would get rid of the Lampant. We have no more Toxels left. Okay, I'll get a Mew. Let's go into the Mew. 
And we'll mysterious tail and we'll take the Evo incense is going to be our going to be our take. You know what? How funny is it? We have less cards in our deck than our opponent. What a world we live in. What a sick, twisted world we live in. Please play a supporter. Please play a research, I'm begging. Okay, big parasol comes down on that Gudra. I don't know what that's saving you from. And they're like taking their sweet time to make plays, my goodness. No, not my chandelure, no! <laughs> no, I need him. I need him, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll evolve the Lampant. We will Evo Incense, the last Toxtricity in our deck. We'll evolve. And let's go Mysterious Tail. We'll get a scoop up net. That's kind of cool. Um, we'll go Colrus's experiment. I mean, I, I guess this is what we keep, right? Uh, we have to keep this. I think this is what we keep. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go retreat, and let's go risk taker. I would not like to flip again. Thank you. Okay, 20 cards. We'll leave. Gust up something else again. We need this toxicity to go the distance, man. Just imagine a, a world where we didn't discard two on that first. Oh, on that first failed attack. That's going to haunt me. I'm going to have freaking nightmares tonight. Okay, well, Mysterious Tail. Get ourselves a little level ball. Get ourselves a chandelure. Go in with the this card. We're down to 16 cards. I feel like we did all we could, man. But they're just going to attack us and win. Okay, so there is... Let's see. How can we do this? If we top deck... We top deck up... A, a misfortune sisters and then and then we and then we rare candy into a chandelure and they play a research that we can win it's that easy sadly this is not meant to be i feel like we're shutting down quicker than kanye's donda academy Hilariously enough, my opponent is like making every single move um, like it's the world championships out here. My guy, I think I'm just I want to see if they'll play a research. I do just want to see if they'll play a research. Or because there is theoretically a chance if they mill themselves. OK, they do not. All right. Well, sad. We lost. And uh, we're just gonna have to pick up our pick ourselves up by our bootstraps, and uh, and go on to game two. Wow, I actually love this hand going second. We have quick ball, we got glimmy, we got the research to dig. Now, if they're playing a gear, the only deck that I'm really worried about over here on my opponent's side is if they're playing a Giratina deck with um, Raiding Greninja. I suppose I should also be afraid of Sableye, but I mean, if we think about it, they'll have to get rid of 10 cards from their deck at the very least. So I have a feeling here that there's a chance that they'll have to dig too deep with the Colrus's experiment. Okay, so it is a Giratina deck. Again, I'm a little bit nervous. If they play the Water Energies and the Greninja. They can do some stuff here to us. Um, let's go Glimmy. Let's go quick ball. Um, uh, the Mew is better for the air balloon. Full stop. 
So I'll get a Mew here. I I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it could be fine. So let's go here with the research. Um, yeah, it turned out to be exactly completely fine. Um, okay. We got our Ultra Ball. We got our Evo Incense. Um, I, I think I'm going to hold with this hand because we might want to discard the Litwick. I, I don't exactly know. Um, could have, could have maybe growled. Yeah, probably should have. Cause they can get just the, they can get a, a the, one of those things, you know, the, the things, the, the crams shoot. Okay. Let's see if they can get a cram here. They have a huge hand should be able to shoot. I would love, have loved to get a toxicity going. Cause I think we could have milled like twice probably. Oh, that's such a shame. Yeah. They're like definitely going to get cram here. That's really frustrating. So there's a switch. Is there a chance that they get a Sableye? I don't think so. But we do see the water energy go to the go to the Lost Zone. We also see a Colorless Experiment go to the Lost Zone. So um, Escape Rope is actually fine. I, I'm actually in love with that play from them. Like, thank you. We just don't want to see the Greninja. Okay, so they are going to kill the Mew, which is sad. We won't get much utility out of this mysterious tale. But I think it all works out for our good because we can now go in with the Toxtricity and start to do some damage. Uh, <laughs> yes, the greatest top deck of all time. Um, let's go Evo Incense, find ourselves a Toxtricity. Go ahead and lay that bad boy right on down. We go here. And I think we just have the risk taker. I would like to flip again. Dude. Dude. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, this is like the perfect setup to beat this deck, man. Okay, okay, well, maybe they don't play like a, maybe they don't play like a Zigzagoon. Maybe they don't find the Zigzagoon to take a knockout on the Toxtricity. Dude, come on. I'm losing my mind over here. I'm going to boss up the Lampant, whatever, that's fine. I'm going to Lost Vacuum the Glimmy, probably. And they're just playing cards, dude. Like, they are just out here playing cards. So, that's overall good for us. It's five, six, seven. I'm a little worried about the Sableye if they play it. Take out the Lampant. All right, come on, Tox. Come on, Tox. What is going to be the best card for us? I think it might be a Toxel. One could argue that it's Lampant. But I actually think Toxel will put on more pressure. So let's get a Toxel. Let's go Risk Taker. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, the Ordinary Route is gone. Okay, I love that. I love that. That's, that's good. They probably only play like two. Um... Everything else was, you know, not, not great. I mean, you know, we, we would love to see them, uh, you know, discard the battle VIP pass or, or they would love to see us discard the battle VIP pass, I should say. So there's the Greninja. They should start to very soon be able to take a couple multi-prize knockouts depending on how many mirage gate they have in hand they got one water in the uh in the lost zone though that's certainly interesting these decks usually play like two to three so could find out very shortly yeah there's a water okay you would expect that there's a chorus's experiment so they're getting dangerous man they're down to their last 16 cards this is where we were at with the last game they're gonna concealed cards go down to 14 
They discarded a water? I don't know what's going on with my opponent here. They must have some play. Okay, there's an ordinary rod. I'm going to get back a comb fee. Going to get back a water and another energy. More than likely. Yep, and there's a Mirage Gate. So I'd expect to the Giratina and to the Greninja. They're just both to the Greninja, sure. Yeah, that's fine. They've already attached return, so they have to have a switch card. There's the switch. And I would expect them to take out two Litwicks or a probably a Toxel and a Litwick. Yeah, okay. So that is the move with the Radiant Greninja. And it's up to us to figure out a way back. Uh, obviously, I'm worried about the Giratina. Maybe they don't have a uh, maybe they don't have a grass energy in hand to take out this toxel or this toxicity I should say we're looking for a supporter here we do get it I should have played the Litwick <laughs> um sure this gets us a toxel this gets us a lampant. Then we risk take her. You're stressing me out. Let's go. Okay, heads. We needed that. We needed that for sure. All right. What do we discard? Scoop up nets, mirage gates. Good. We discarded three scoop up net. That's actually insane. And a mirage gate. That's so cracked. They got seven cards left. We... <sighs> Depending on what we draw here, we could hit him with a misfortune. Now, that's oh, I, oh, maybe I should have saved the Evo incense and tried to go uh, Chandelure plus Misfortune Sisters. But there's just so many cards they could have. Like Pokemon don't get discarded, right? So there's the Sableye. They're gonna boss up the Toxel. We have the scoop up net. So, I mean, this could just be game over here. If they don't have a double knockout, we could just win the game here. There's a quick ball. For Giratina. That's six cards. Can we do it? That's either one Chandelure or one Misfortune Sisters plus a successful risk taker. Oh, this, this, it's going to be really exciting. This is going to be extremely exciting. Come on, baby. They're going to go into Comfy. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know what they're looking for. They're looking for an energy. Okay, they put one in the Lost Zone. They got the Sableye going. Okay, fine. This is all fine. Did they get the Echoing Horn or something? How do they win? They passed? Um, what's the best way to win? Is it getting the chandelure? Is it getting the chandelure discarding three or is it misfortune sisters? And then, well, toxicity wins it for us anyway. So I think what we do is we scoop up and then we go into toxicity. I think we go research here and we look for a chandelure. Because that brings them down to one card. We could also Colrus's experiment. Actually, I think Colrus's experiment might be best. Because then we could. Wow, we just didn't get it. Okay, well. Okay. Go here. Let's get Guru. Let's get Guru. Guru. Wisdom. It's a Lampant. Hilarious. The irony is not lost. Should I play this Toxel down? Does that give us a chance or does it give us the opportunity to lose? I think it gives us the opportunity to lose. All right. This is for all the marbles. Risk taker. We need to hit one heads. This is it. This is for everything. Let's go. <laughs>
Let's go. Toxtricity, you're so insane. This deck was so much fun to play. Thank you all so much for watching. What another epic installment of Fan Favorite Friday. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, if you thought that was hype, if you loved it, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Maybe even hit the bell so that you get notifications on when I post in the future. That is going to do it for me today. What an electrifying match. Wow. I am so happy. So proud of this deck. You can find the list down in the comment section below. And that's going to do it for me today, guys. God bless. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. And remember, good luck. And also have fun.